Hello guys, I have here a set of Wasasi that I got recently. It's got 5mm uh, uh, sized uh, uh, perfumes. So you got yellow diamond, bright crystal, these are female perfumes. And you got uh, your, your fresh which is a man's perfume, poor ohm man's perfume as well as the uh, classic famous clubbing Wasasi Eros. All right. So I think I paid about uh, US dollar 40, uh, 30 to 40 dollars thereabouts guys. That's, that's the price for this because it's relatively small size, a miniature set. And uh, for collectors like us, we, we do like to sort of, you know, uh, get uh, small ones and then, you know, uh, try to uh, really get to know the smell and then maybe make our final purchases. I know some people like to just buy the big, big, a size ones for me it depends sometimes i buy the original size ones and sometimes i uh, get small sets like this it, it just depends on my mood actually so uh, we'll go through them one by one after this to sort of uh, uh, judge each of them uh, uh, based on uh, their scent profile hi guys today we'll be talking about uh, wasasi yellow diamond uh, i have mentioned about uh, buying a set of these about five was say five mil uh, boxes which came up to about 30 40 years dollars for the whole set so i started off with this and uh, what as a man do i think of this uh, female's perfume right so before anything just want to inform you that this one is launched in year 2011 the top notes are amalfi lemon pear bergamot and uh, what else is there neroli um, uh, yep, uh, we go to the mid levels, mimosa, freesia, water lily, African orange flower. Now that's that's a very uh, unique uh, name. I, I don't recall seeing any fragrance with uh, that particular flower before, but it's all good. And the base is musk, guac, wood and amber. So uh, this perfume, uh, it, it's, it's uh, moderate, right? The projection uh, is moderate and uh, it lasts moderate the duration of time. Uh, let's see when I say moderate usually it's about 2-3 hours and uh, it's uh, what do I say about this what do I feel about this now when I first saw the ingredients I was worried uh, in the sense that I, when, I, when I see the word musk and you know amber and all that I lean more towards masculine uh, aura in those perfumes but however they blended this quite well and I'm getting more of uh, uh, flowery I, I'm, I'm inhaling as I'm talking now guys yeah, it's a nice uh, flowery uh, feel and if a girl wears this, I think it's definitely very feminine, uh, quite pleasant, a sweet girl, okay? I can imagine a pretty sweet girl wearing this on a date, alright? So it's it's definitely feminine, it's nice and uh, I have no uh, qualm in recommending any girl to wear this. Just only advice is don't wear too much of it. Uh, it should be just, you know, a mild uh, flower. It's like a mild flower scent wafting. Um, around the girl that you are going out on a date or hanging out with uh, it shouldn't be too overpowering, overpowering and then it'll be a kind of a put off, put off right so it reminds me of a pleasant garden with nice flowers you know and a pretty girl there so I, I, I think it's quite a decent um, creation all right uh, I don't get uh, any uh, extremely strong musk or strong amber wood here it's more of a flowery uh, aura here and so uh, uh, yeah there's some lily initially I thought I smelled some tea you know it, I, I thought it, they had the tea element and I thought the ingredients would have tea but no nope, uh, it doesn't have tea so maybe some other maybe the, maybe the water lily uh, is giving off a bit of that vibe uh, so my marks for this mm, this, is my, this is an initial impression guys right it might change in the future but now I can give it 3.5 out of 5 it's not a bad effort by Wusasi actually this one okay guys thanks bye bye Yeah, you can see all the various ingredients of each of these perfumes and I'm also testing out my focusing of my lens is uh, how, how fast it can adjust or adapt uh, to the changes.